monasteries are places where one experiences something different. Men, women who are different. In a world, we are forced to play a game of numbers. Empirical collection of stuff. We are quantified with targets to meet, bank accounts to fill, bills to pay. This is the engine of our society. Stuff, numbers, quantity, mass. And if one looks inside a monastery, one will see empty chambers, the atria, like of the heart. space for the squished modern soul to expand and breathe a different type of air. It's tangible, really it is, for the sensitive soul, and that is between God and self. It's tangible, perceptible. One breathes a different air in places like this. I see many visitors to this monastery. I used to live just a few miles away from it, here in Mount St. Bernard, and many visitors, people who are religious, people who are not, people who are Catholic, people who are not, all with a different story. I've had many fine conversations with people. Some say their cathedral and their temple is nature. In fact, the chap who lives near here says that he walks these grounds every day and rarely goes inside the, the actual monastery. But he says, my cathedral is nature. God's cathedral. It's not either or. But here one experiences a different way of living. A way of life not centered on targets and quotas and how quickly one can do things, but on silence, which St. Isaac the Syrian says is the language of heaven, the language of the kingdom of God. Not economics, not empiricism and what can be measured, not stuff. The soul, the spirit, the Holy Spirit of God. And to encounter that makes one a very rich man or woman. And the testimony of that is the hundreds and thousands of pilgrims that come to places like this all over the world and who by the grace of God, make their very lives as monks and nuns, pursuing this different way of life, as new creatures, as prophetic signs in the silence, in nature's silence, isn't an absolute silence, it's a fluid silence. Prophetics, prophets of a true new age and way of being. Forgive me.